Let's have a go at some calculations. Now, this beam is at equilibrium. What is the weight of B if A has a weight of 5 newtons? The first thing we need to remember is that weight is a force. So the force of A downwards, in this case, is 5 newtons. We must also remember that this beam is at equilibrium, so the principle of moments applies, where the anti-clockwise moment is equal to the clockwise moment. So let's see how that works out. The moment of B in this direction is equal to the moment of A in this direction. And as we know, the equation for moment is force times distance. So that's the force of B times the distance of B, which is equal to the force of A times the distance of A. Now we need to substitute into our equation. We don't know what the force of B is yet. We need to work that out. So we're just going to leave that as F B. The distance of B is 25 centimeters. However, we're not going to use 25 centimeters. Instead, we're going to use 0 0.25 meters instead. Because remember, distance is measured in meters not centimeters. We can't use centimeters, it has to be meters. So here times 0 0.25 meters is equal to the force of A, which is 5 newtons, times the distance of A. Once again, we're not going to use centimeters. Instead, we're going to use 0 0.5 meters. Now, we're going to now we're going to simplify this equation. FB times 0 0.25 meters is equal to 5 newtons times 0 0.5. Let's put that into our calculator and we'll get 2.5 newton meters. And then we're going to find FB. We're going to solve for FB and rearrange that equation. So FB, which is the force of B, remember, is equal to 2.5 newton meters divided by 0 0.25 meters. And our answer for that is... Okay, let's have a go at this example here. This is a crane, and this crane is stabilized using the concept of moments. If it wasn't stable, it would simply fall over. But that isn't the case. Have a go by yourself. Really try, and then we'll go through it together. So pause the video and come back in a minute. Now that we had a go, let's take a look at this question. So, the question states that this crane is stable. In order for the crane to be stable, the principle of moments must apply. So the anti-clockwise moment must be equal to the clockwise moment. Let's call this side A and call this side B to make it easy for us. So I know that the moment of A is equal to the moment of B. So if it wasn't, the crane would fall over. And I also know that the, that the moment is given by force times perpendicular distance. So the moment of A would be equal to the force of A times the distance of A, which will be equal to the force of B 
times the distance of B. The force of A, in this case, 100 newtons, as we can see here. And the distance of A is 20 meters. The force of B, we don't know that yet, so we'll leave that as FB. And the distance of B is 5 meters. Let's go about solving this and simplifying this. So 100 times 20 is equal to 2000 newton meters, which is equal to the force of B times 5 meters. Now, to solve this, I'll need to divide by 5 meters on both sides. I'm going to bring this up here. So, 2000 newton meters divided by 5 meters is equal to FB, the force of B. We can simply put that into our calculator, 2000 divided by 5, which is equal to 400 newtons. And that's our answer. Let's do one more. Two girls are on a seesaw. One weighs 200 newtons and is 1.5 meters from the pivot. Where must her 150 newton meter fr newton friend sit if the seesaw is to balance? So we know that the principle of moments applies here. We're going to call this force FA and this distance DA. The other force we, we can call that FB. In these situations, I really like to draw it out because I think that makes it easy. So it's a seesaw like this. So we have a 200 Newton force in this direction at a distance of 1.5 meters. And then we have a 150 newton force at an unknown distance. Let's call this side A and this side B. So as we know the principle of moment applies, let's apply it to this question. So the moment A is equal to the moment B. So, as we know, moment is equal to force times distance. So the force of A times the distance of A is equal to the force of B times the distance of B. The force of A, in this case, 200 newtons. And the distance of A is 1.5 meters. The force of B is still unknown. So we can leave it like this. The force of B is 150 newtons, and the distance of B is unknown. Let's go about solving this. 200 times 1.5, we can put that into our calculators, and we'll get an answer of 300 newton meters, which is equal to 150 newtons times the distance of B. Now, in order to solve for the distance of B, I'll need to divide by 150 on both sides. So that'll give me 300 newton meters divided by 150 newtons to give me the distance of B. So now I can find that the distance of B is equal to 
two meters, like so. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please do ask.